Are you ready for some good news? The right word can change a life. So says Proverbs 25 verse 11, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in a setting of silver. What if you discovered a bag of tools that could do miraculous things? What if you found a set of tools that could calm an angry person, heal a wounded heart, mend a broken relationship, facilitate prosperity, and position you for favor in this world? Wouldn't you give almost anything for such a tool set? Imagine further, anyone can learn to use the tools and they'll never wear out. God's given you those tools. They're called words. God created the world with words. As His image bearer in the world, your words also help shape the world around you. Language is part of what makes us truly human. Without sight or sound, Helen Keller not only experienced profound isolation, but until she discovered language, she said she didn't really know what it is to be human. She said about this inward awakening that for nearly six years she had no concept of nature or mind or death or God, that she literally thought with her body. But when she awoke to the knowledge of language, she awoke to the knowledge of love and concepts of nature and good and evil. And she said, I was actually lifted from nothingness to human life through language. God has entrusted us with the power of words to shape others' lives. Mohammed Katani won the 2015 Toastmasters International Speech Contest with his speech, The Power of Words. And he illustrated his thesis by telling of the time that his four-year-old son drew on the living room walls with crayon. Exasperated, the father said to the boy, Hey, what are you doing? Are you stupid? And the little boy just did it again. And a week later, the little boy was in his room just drawing on the walls, gleaming at his father just to spite him. So Katani knelt down to one knee, looked his boy in the eyes, and said, Son, you're a big boy now. Don't write on the walls anymore. And the child never did it again. A word fitly spoken is more precious than gold and silver. And that's the gospel. Well, that's today's daily devotional, and you can get more like it by clicking right here, or better yet, subscribe to the channel. Get them all, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.